cold is the water line. It freezes your already cold mind Already cold, cold mind and Death is at your doorstep We're just a uh Traveling, we don't really have a destination, we don't know how long we're gonna go, but we started in Alaska. Uh, we started in North Carolina, <laughs> but our starting point was Alaska. The official starting point is in Alaska because we're doing the Pan American Highway and that starts there, but we started way earlier down in North Carolina. And you are not alone in this. As brothers, we will stay. After New Year's we said, okay, life in Berlin gets boring, what are we gonna do? So uh, we bought a school bus online without ever seeing it before. You are the mother. Uh, the bus is really big, so uh, in towns like San Miguel de Allende we can't drive the bus because the streets are too narrow. So And there's no campgrounds here in Mexico. So not a lot, there is some. There is some, but not here. So usually we find a big hotel where we can park the bus. And sometimes we sleep in the bus or we sleep in the hotel. But here there wasn't any hotel with a big parking. Uh, we didn't find anything. And then it was by accident we found the VS here. And we read about it and said happiness everywhere. And uh, On the homepage. And then we saw Gloria like giving, giving an interview. And she's saying she's an happiness ambassador and everything. We said, whoa, we are Expedition Happiness. Yeah, so we um, thought it fits. And then so we it was, her a message. Yeah. And she actually knew about us, I think. Yeah. So, so that was basically two Expedition Happiness, two happiness projects coming together. And uh, we spent 24 hours now here. and. Uh, it's a, it's a magical place. Cold is the water line. It freezes. We're exhausted. So after five minutes being here, the stress kind of left pretty quick. We never experienced that. Like, because usually Mexico is so hot and then you're here and it's a little cooler than in the city, like five degrees cooler and everything is green and everything is nice with stones and looking pretty so I was like oh where's my stress like it's gone so we're like okay let's spend a couple nights here yeah, so that's, that's what I wanted to say I felt really calm it, it, just in an instant you enter the door and then you see the jardim and it's just the, all the plants it makes it feel really natural and then I felt really calm and you are not Brothers, we will stand and we'll hold your hand. Expedition Happiness isn't a dream, I would say. It was just like more a project. In Berlin, we weren't happy anymore. Our dog, he didn't like the city. And after my first documentary, everything was crazy in Germany. People recognized us. So we said, okay, let's leave the city. So this is not like a dream. It's more like a rehab, kind of like making us happy again. So I would say this place is about happiness, so it really helps us getting back to the road of happiness. I mean, we're almost recovered. I would say we're at 98%. Being here gives us another 1 or 2%, so we are, we're pretty happy, I would say. Everybody, everybody can do what we are doing. It's not a dream, well it is, but we had a life before, we had a job, we had a house, we had a car. So we quit the job, we didn't have any money, we sold everything we have, and then, you know, we bought the bus and went on a road trip. I mean, it's possible. If you want to do it, it's possible. So saying, oh, I can't because I have kids, I have a job, is just an excuse, I think. Happiness, happiness, that's, happiness is uh, for every individual, it's something else. For me, I, sh I can just speak for myself, for me, is a freedom, you know, not having a boss, not having meetings, not having an alarm clock in the morning telling you, Felix, wake up. Um, the sun kind of, the sun is your boss. When the sun goes up, you wake up. When the sun goes down, you go to bed, kind of. Um, so for me, happiness is a, a lot of freedom. Nobody telling you what to do. You just do whatever you want to do. 
And so that's pretty much freedom for me. Uh, that's happiness for me. Just, oh, I have one thing. Um, happiness, uh, it's a really, it's kind of mean, because if you're not happy, you can't really change it. But uh, for me, I found, for like the, the trick to be happy is just to be happy. It's just to stand up and be happy about what you have and um, not just envy all the other people, not look at the other garden and say, oh my God, his grass is greener than mine, his car is bigger than mine. Just be happy about what you have and then you're happy. <laughs> sounds easy. It sounds easy, but for us it's actually not too hard. It's working. Some for me, songs are called And mon servit hier sous ses troubles et ma mère, comme si elle le sentait, en fait elle se doutait, entendait. J'ai dit que j'étais bien, tout à fait l'air serein, elle a fait comme de rien, et mon père de Muni a souri. Mes chers parents, je pars, je vous aime et je pars, vous n'aurez plus d'enfants ce soir. But I can't.